Good morning. Thanks for joining me on my morning prayer time. We're in the book of Acts chapter 9. Why do people kneel when they pray? Why would anyone get on their knees when they pray? Is that biblical? Is it biblical to be on your knees to pray? Can you stand up and pray? Can you sit on the couch or a recliner and pray? Well, the answer is yes. The position's not important. It's all about your spirit and your heart. However, the Bible does teach there's power in praying on your knees. From the Old Testament to the New Testament, we discover many saints of God pray on their knees. Here's a story I've been reading in praying through all morning. It's found in the book of Acts chapter 9. There's this saintly woman named Tabitha. She gets really, really sick and she dies. When she dies, Peter visits her. That is, after she dies, he goes into the room and in Acts chapter 9, it, some, it says something very, very special. It says that Peter got on his knees. Oh, what a beautiful picture. Your answer today may be found while you are praying on your knees. Yes, you can stand up and pray. Yes, you can sit in a pew or sit on your couch and you can pray. But you can also get on your knees. I find this not only fascinating, I find this to be significant. You see, when Peter was dealing with death, he found the position of being upon his knees, humbling himself before the Lord, calling upon heaven, praying in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for a great miracle to see Tabitha raised from the dead and from his knees as he cries out to heaven, God hears his prayer and God raises Tabitha literally from the dead. But I don't want you to stop at the very, very first portion of this story. I want you to read all of the story because once God touched her and life came back into her lungs and she began to breathe and she was resurrected, the Bible goes on in the story to record that then as she sat up resurrected, he extended the right hand of fellowship. He extended his hand to her and he helped her up. Sometimes we put so much on God, we remove ourselves from the picture. Extending a right hand of fellowship to the one that is in need, not just praying for them, not just saying, oh God, you do your part, but you find Peter, number one, on his knees calling out to God, and number two, you find him extending his hand, and underscore this, he helped her up. And who is it in your life that the Holy Spirit quickens for you to extend your hand and to help them up? People come into the sanctuary visiting so many challenges in their lives and they're seeking for a miracle. We pray for them, which is beautiful. But it also is our opportunity to reach out to those that are in need. That's right. We extend our hand to help those that need a miracle in their lives as God does his part and does a miracle. Oh, thanks for joining me on my morning prayer walk today. 
I want to encourage you how much God loves you. And I want to encourage you that it is a biblical truth to cry out to God today upon your knees. If I could give you an assignment, it would be that right now, you would just, wherever you're at, go before the Lord upon your knees. Maybe there's a prayer request. Maybe there's something in your heart you've been carrying for so long. And I want to encourage you and challenge you, like Peter, to fall upon your knees and cry out to God and watch God do a mighty, mighty miracle. You be blessed today as you read and prayerfully ponder Acts chapter 9. The answer may very well be found upon your knees. God loves you, and so do I. Be blessed.